Game stuff with another W. What did I try to tell you, PlayStation fanboys, man? Ain't nobody buying a PS5 for exclusives. That's why Stellar Blade failed. Topic of discussion today will be Stellar Blade for the PS5. Sold only 1 million copies. Woo! Only 1 million copies. Wow. We but got- I thought PlayStation 5 gamers bought games. You know, maybe Sony should have pushed the game through a subscription service instead because Sony did not make any money, man. Matter of fact, I did the mathematics. It was $74 million that they made back. They would have had to sell 2 million copies for the game to be a remote success, very similar to Returnal because of the budget. And yet, you people still fail to go out there and support your games, but yet you point the finger at Xbox. Oh, you people don't buy games. All you do is buy your game through Game Pass. <laughs> talk about that, okay? Like, <clears throat> uh oh. That just cannot be accurate. At- oh, see? Oh, it ain't accurate when it's Sony. Okay, just like when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth flopped. For Spoken, Final Fantasy 16. Oh, gosh, that can't be accurate. You know, Square is just, you know, their demands is too high to the point where Square said, you know what, man, we're sick and tired of you guys. You know, we're telling you guys that we're not making enough money on our games to the point where we have to go back to being multi-plat because we're not making any money making our games exclusive to your preferred platform. And this is what I'm trying to tell you about these PlayStation fanboys. All they do is cope. Oh, Xbox gamers don't buy games. All y'all do is buy games on Game Pass. And yet, buying games is the only option on your platform. And you still fail to go out there and support your exclusive games. This is embarrassing. So we're going to be digging deeper into that one. We're also You gonna... trying to tell me that this game couldn't even eclipse close to $3 million? Like, come on, man. Out of all those PS5s out there, those 50, 65 million PlayStation 5s, that you guys have over the Xbox Series S and X in your game still selling at a low alarming rate. Like, that don't even make sense, man. The fact that Microsoft is pushing a subscription service and also having about the same amount of physical and digital software sales shows you that people went out there and bought the PS5 for the wrong reason. You bought it for third party. You bought it for Microsoft games now at this point because you're clearly not buying it for exclusives. Talking about Sean Layden... Uh, he basically spoke on there should just be one console in the future, like one standard console in the future. And you know what that means? You know what that means? PC. Why? Game stuff with another W. I'm not saying PC is a console. Which, which What he should say is one platform, which happens to be PC. And if you notice, Microsoft and Sony are putting all their things on P- PC and preparation for that. And all you PlayStation ponies want to be in in denial about it. You want to sit there and call people Xbox fanboys when I'm out here telling, look at it, look at me, it's Gamester Guy. I got a PS5 controller. Look at that. Let me throw a few PlayStation 5 controllers in front of in in front of my screen to show you that I'm a real Sony pony. Uh, Because the difference between these consoles are, you know, small. Basically, very, very small. But yet you guys, for some reason, make it a big deal because you got Black Myth Wukong dying with... Man, nobody care about it. Oh, we got Marvel Arcade Classics. And the, and the funny thing is they're making it for the PS4. They're not even making it for the PS5. The only reason that's why you have the option to play it is because of backwards compatibility. Like, come on, bro. Like, you got to tell me what is so great about these consoles. Nothing. I mean, at the end of the day, Microsoft is definitely nailing it in regards to next gen because of the announcements. Perfect Dark, South of Midnight, Indiana Jones. These games are going to be Series S and X games, okay, that you can play on PC as well, but you can't play them on any other console, right? Hellblade 2, for an example. So what? Oh, it's time exclusive. We're just going to wait for these games to drop on PlayStation. Well, keep on waiting, man, because at the end of the day, you guys are too old to be waiting for games. Um, and they're using the same architecture. You know, it's not like the PS... So, it's so funny. You hear what this dude said? PlayStation is using the same architecture as Xbox, but yet, for some reason, the Xbox don't have Marvel arcade classics? Like, I get it. Microsoft wants to favor the Series S and X over their Xbox One counterparts, but even then, with Call of Duty, I think Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is still dropping on the Xbox One. So even with that notion, Microsoft still supports the Xbox One. I don't understand why people say, oh, Microsoft just completely abandoned it. They're done. The reason as to why Marvel Arcade Classics couldn't come to the Xbox is because, you know, they're not focused on, on Xbox One, which is not true because... 
the next Call of Duty is on the Xbox One. So that makes no sense to me. And that's their bigger game. We already know what happened with that. Sony gave uh, Capcom or Marvel a check to say, hey, man, can you please keep this game on our platform as a timed exclusive? You know, we do make your Marvel Wolverine and Spider-Man's. Three and the uh, Xbox 360 generation and things of that nature, which I definitely do understand that because okay. we're definitely seeing a shift here, especially when it comes to, uh, you know, the next Xbox and the next PlayStation. You what know, do you what do you mean next? Because like I said, those systems, what do I mean? The Xbox Series X just has a two terabyte SSD. What, what, what improvement are you talking about? They're essentially going to be using AMD for the chip. Now there's a talk between them switching from x86, which is the traditional um, architecture to ARM, uh, which I it's think- st It's still all the same thing. You know, you know that, right? But go ahead. For them would be a little bit easier or whatever the case may be. See, this is the problem with console gamers. You guys know nothing about hardware, man. I bet he bought his PC on PC part builder, okay? You had your friend make that for you, man. Because clearly you don't know nothing about PCs, man. And the funny thing is, you console gamers act like, PC gaming is so hard, you know, I got to change the motherboard, you know, I got to do all this other stuff, you know. I mean, half y'all people don't even change your mother's drawers. What are you talking about motherboards? Like, for real. Like, anyways, man, you people got to stop this nonsense, man. Your mom's an old lady. Please, daddy, change my diapers like I've done for you when you was a child before. No, mama, you old. I'm not changing no diapers. I moved on. I got a girlfriend. You leave your mama in the dust looking like SpongeBob grandma cookies. That's what y'all done. <laughs> and so, you know, Sean Layden was just talking and saying. You're a bad young man. Like, man, you know. Everybody, you just, know, your mama changed your drawers, and now you don't, now you don't want to change your mama's drawers because she got old. Like that's crazy. <laughs> need to stop the, you know, PS5 versus Xbox console war stuff, which that's already null and void and done with already. Yeah, but and, you, but you still play a part in it because of the way you talk, man. It's the language, it's the gaming language that you're talking about, man. You're not being rational, bro. You know what I mean? You're not being neutral about the situation. When you heard about that article about that that game, and I heard the same thing from several other sources that I have, that the game only sold one million, which the game would have needed at least two million to be somewhat of a success, that did not happen. Stella flop. Us Xbox dudes was telling you this game was going to flop. Nobody buys exclusives no more. Listen to me, PlayStation fanboy. Knock on your little bit of your itty bitty head right on top of your forehead. And ask yourself, what are people playing on your platform? Fortnite? I, you guys know the list. I'm tired of it. Okay? You know the games that people are playing on your platform. So what makes you think that Sony's going to have some resurgence if they decide to revitalize a lot of their old IPs? Nobody's going to buy them. That demographic is over. That demographic has far moved on from video gaming, man. You know, they're probably in a wheelchair. You know, they're not even gaming anymore, man. Like, what's wrong with you people, man? It's about time the young audience, you know, try to pick up the... Remember I told people that they're going to pick up the torch and they're going to let it fall down beneath their feet and they're going to burn the gaming industry. And that is something that we're seeing now. Now, I've always said that now it just comes down to the games. You know, what, yeah. are, what are the games? But why would Sony make games if those games are not selling? That you are going to be putting out, right? That's, uh -uh. that's, the, that's the biggest thing. No, what? no, no, no. The biggest thing is getting your games to sell. Because guess what? If your games don't sell, that would also mean that Sony's not going to want to fund their money into new projects. So you're saying that, oh, they just need to bring the games. No, it needs to be more than. They brought games. They brought Rise of Ronin. They've got Stellar Blade. It's so you can't sit there and say Sony hasn't brought out games. The problem is, is the fact that none of these games were successful, which means that we're not going to see sequels and we'll probably never see these games again. Like, come on, man. I mean, it's getting to the point, man. The gaming industry, in my opinion, is in a bad predicament. What are the games that you're going to be putting out? Are the games that you're putting out quality? It's you're not about quality. It, you see, this all goes back to Phil Spencer's when y'all were like, oh, he's just saying that because he know Xbox a failure. <laughs> Remember? Remember when he had that interview and y'all were like, Phil Spencer was like, it doesn't matter what type of games we make nobody's gonna go out there and buy a platform for it you people you let that you ponies let that get through your head saying that oh it's because xbox can't compete no 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 it has nothing to do with that what phil spencer's saying it doesn't matter we can make the greatest and best game in the world and nobody's going to buy it that's the point that he's trying to make 
Just like you say, Sony made great games, but ain't nobody buying them. Marlin, Stella Blade, Rise of Roman Noodles. I mean, these are, I mean, I, I think they're mediocre, but still, nonetheless, these are games that Sony say that are the greatest. Nobody's picking up a PS5 for these games. You guys can keep bragging about this hardware sales that you got, but yet your games are selling worse than what they did on the Xbox One. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, it's crazy. Like, y'all don't even have Game Pass, and your games sell as, just as bad as if the games was on Game Pass. Like, come on now. Quality? quality quantum. And it makes no sense. <laughs> What's a quantum? Um, but yeah, he talked about that, and oh. it's crazy because, like I said, Sony is going to do what Sony is going to do with their next hardware or whatever the flop. case may be. You, re- you really think Sony is going to continue to make hardware, man? I'm telling y'all, man, Sony is contemplating and dropping the PlayStation 6. If this continues, Sony might abandon the home console market, man. I'm telling y'all right now, man, and I'm going to be on record saying it. Sony is on their last legs, man. They need you guys to go out there and support these games now. How are you? How is so you think about it? How is Sony going to want to continue to make hardware if one, you people are not buying the games for the Pacific hardware, and two, with better hardware it means more expensive game development, which also means it'll take longer for games to come out. If Sony leaves the home console market, it has nothing to do with the fact that Sony completely failed. It had more to do with the fact that they are finally hitting a Sega moment. They're hitting a Sega moment. When Sega was pushing the... They were hitting that moment where it's like, yes, it could be successful, but we don't have enough money to be able to compete to go further. Now y'all like, that's not true, Gamester. I'm going to break it down for you. Why do you think Nintendo never went 4K? Why? Uh, oh! Oh, Gamester, that's a good point. Now I see why Nintendo has been doing low-end hardware. Because they understand that once they target... Once they hit that market... That gaming development is going to be more expensive. You really think they're going to get away with this Mario Donkey Kong return? You guys have accepted that fact due to the low-end hardware. But if if Nintendo had a comparable piece of hardware similar to its competition, people ain't going to put up with that. They're not going to put up with that. Look what happened with the Wii U. Nintendo's first HD console. And people's like, nah, because they compared it with the other two good consoles at the time. With the Xbox One and PS4. Nintendo knows what they're doing. They're milking this. They know they see the writing on the wall too, but they're milking all you fools with these remasters and, you know, Donkey Kong Returns, Returns, Returns editions, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon 2, HD Portable Edition, Returns. They know what they're doing. Remastered. I mean, they're doing the same thing they're doing with Dead Rising. I mean, come on, man. Dead Rising Deluxe now? Like, come on, man. Um, Microsoft, on the other hand, you know, they're touting about huge technical leap moving forward and this and that. Uh, and, you know, I want to see a huge technical leap with the games as well. Performance. I mean, you are seeing that. Microsoft is one of the first few companies in, in regards to consoles that is making Unreal Engine 5 games. Gears E Day is going to be running on Unreal Engine 5. So, yes, Microsoft is pushing the power narrative that we're starting to see now. The narrative that you guys said, we well, couldn't see it, you know, because you guys was blinded by playing PS4 games at f- somewhat 4K and 60 frames per second. You guys weren't pre- playing no real next generation games. You was playing optimized games. These consoles were here for optimization. That is it. Like, this, cr- it's crazy, man. I'm telling you, this console generation is by far the worst generation that I have ever ex- experienced throughout my life. Needs to be up there. And that even applies to Xbox. I'm just saying Xbox is doing a little bit better because of what they're showing and how they're making their games accessible. You can't, I can't refute that. As well. Oh, Nintendo's doing... No, no, Nintendo is not in that argument because Nintendo's doing remasters. Dark Moon remaster, bro. I can't put Nintendo in that same regard. I've already played these games already. You feel what I'm saying? So Nintendo's not even a part of this argument. Y'all want to sit there and throw, well, the 100 million switches, 100 million. I don't care. Because at the end of the day, to me, Nintendo ain't pushing boundaries. Microsoft is. Like, you know, you, you, you have your performance and then you have your console. And as long as you're pushing the console and. But what about the software? And everything, I feel like. But no, no, see, you see, no, be quiet for a minute because you don't know what you're talking about, bro. You claim to be such a PlayStation fan enthusiast. Right? But you don't understand it takes more than the hardware to make the man. You need the PS5 to sell, right? So you can push your software. You know what, man? 
Uh, guys, was the NES a success because the system sold and nobody bought games, or was it successful because it was a system that people purchased and they bought games for it? Okay, what do you not understand, man? Companies make money off the software. Back in the days, uh, companies used to take losses on hardware and make the money back with what, guys? With software. Then that software became service and subscription, which happened to be Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus at the time, right? That's how they make their money. We should be good to go, but in order for that to happen, like... Like, what do you, like, you gotta understand, you're buying a gaming console, but yet you people don't want to buy games for it? You need great developers. You're gonna need top-notch developers Does it that matter. are willing to not be... You, this is this is why our gaming is dangerous. Because until these Fortnite kids grow up, gaming is always it's gonna be like this for a while. That's why Microsoft was smart in coming up with the Series S. They're like, oh, the Series S is ruining gaming, it's holding gaming back. No, Microsoft purposely did that on purpose. What? How do you think you know Gapesa? Let me break it down to because Microsoft knew that there was not going to be any advancements in gaming technology for the next few years. The Series S is not a real next generation console, but it is a budget console to be able to perform and do the things that we see as of right now. See, that's what you people don't understand. The Series S makes perfect sense. Matter of fact, the people that bought the Series S are the real, real, the other real, real people. And the ones that bought the Series X and PS5, we're nothing but fools. I mean, obviously, if you like physical, I'm just saying, because the Series S is doing what it's supposed to, while the Series X and PS5 is not doing as it was promised. So we're the fools. It's so funny that y'all want to point the figure. Oh, everybody, Series S is a fool. No, they made the right decision because they knew this whole generation was nothing but a sham. <laughs> exactly. Lazy and also dial in and push the limits of what the console can do. So, well, and that's what Microsoft's doing. Unreal Engine 5. Um. Yeah. So, yeah. We're going to talk right now. I need everybody. Bro, I don't even care enough to hear you speak, man. I'm going to add to this. At the end of the day, you ponies was wrong. Hand me my flowers. Stop eating them out of my hands, man. You know, that's all you people do is eat my roses. I got to sit here in front of all these people like Floyd Mayweather and be like, yo, it's all right, man. I'm just knocking out these PlayStation champs. It don't even matter, man. I'm undefeated. I'm out here looking like little Mac from the NES. You know what I'm saying? We got the Marlin Gaming's punch out. And now look at it. He glass Joe, one in 96. This is crazy. You people got to stop this, man. Y'all got to stop this, man, for real, because I'll have to put the whip on you like Castlevania bloodlines, okay? Super Castlevania. This is how bad, this is how bad you fanboys are getting whipped. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's ridiculous, man. Like, grow up, enjoy gaming, enjoy what we have for right now, because to be honest with you, that's all the happiness that you have. You know what I'm saying? Stop fighting. Start arguing. Stop expecting anything to change because nothing's going to change to cater to you. It's only going to cater to these casuals, okay? And these casuals clearly don't care about you because they're not picking up your games. They're playing Fortnite. I guarantee they bought that Fortnite Battle Pass, but they didn't want to pay $70 for a game. Come on, man. Y'all know this, man. No, but everybody has been. It's so funny how they say Microsoft is the company that has pushed people not to buy games. No, it wasn't. It was free to plays. Warframe, I've seen it from the very beginning. I'm like, uh oh, this looks like a high quality game that's free to play? Yeah, yeah, it's free to play. You know, that's where it started right there. And then you got Fortnite, you know, and then PUBG, and then Apex Legends, and Fall Guys. All these games just started coming out. And people's like, you know, and companies took notice. I mean, it was so bad that Destiny made, they made Destiny 2 a game where you paid for, and then they made it free. You know what I'm saying? PUBG, they made a game you paid for, and then they made it free because of the audience that they had. So it shows you that that is more important to keep people locked to a subscription service than to sell people a game. Even Fall Guys, I think, they sold the game, and then they made it free to play because of how much money the game was making in-game, right? So like I said, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, take care. Peace out.